Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Matt. I'm here to show you guys some cool adventure map concepts that I have for you today. I've got three of them total. So um, you can see here I've got like a little combination door. Uh, here I've got like a safety net using tripwire hooks. And over here um, in this room, I'll show you guys that later. But I gotta keep something as a surprise for you guys. So I can't take credit for the uh, redstone on this design. It's basically almost taken directly from a uh, generic B video. His Redstone Academy videos have been really helpful to me in learning Redstone, so um, you'll see some of the concept I learned, some of the concepts I learned from him in this video. So the first thing we have here is like a simple combination lock to get into your base. So no one will know it but you, um, obviously, because <laughs> you said it. Um, and so you've got these three levers here and you kind of mess with them for a while and you realize that that's the actual I didn't mean to come to the conclusion that quickly um, but anyway so this is the only solution here you have, you have to have the bottom one down and then the door opens and there you go uh, let's take a look at the redstone really quickly before we move on um, what you can see is happening here is this redstone torch needs to be powered on which it is by default but if we have all of these up or if we, I mean, if we have, yeah, if we have all of these up, um, then this powers uh, this little contraption here, which turns the redstone torch off. Uh, if we flick another one on, we just keep messing with it. It doesn't matter what we do. Um, we have to have this one on. Well, you can see that since this is on, it turns this redstone on, which turns this redstone torch off. Um, and the goal is to have all the redstone torches off. I'll show you in a second. Okay, and when all the redstone torches are off, as you can see, each one of these things are powering um, a block which turns off redstone torches and which turns off this redstone, which allows this torch to actually be on um, because all of these are off. So as you can see here, we have redstone torches here and here to invert the signal but on the block that we actually want to be our combination uh, we don't have a redstone torch so the signal is actually just coming out as it is um, or as it should be whatever you want to say is that actually right I don't know I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not a redstone genius <laughs> but whatever um, next thing we have here are tripwire hooks and this is for like uh, an adventure map idea that um, you know you wanted to get across and you can get across by run um, sprinting and jumping but if you just regular try to jump it won't get you all the way across and as you can see the tripwire hooks catch you before you fall into the lava and they teleport you back onto the platform that you started on so watch the redstone there oh okay you can see a little a little flicker um, these are all obviously they power these blocks which uh, power the redstone which will lead into our command block which teleports the nearest player to this location right here which is uh, this first platform that I showed you guys so that's kind of like a neat little idea it's not uh, it's not necessarily my original idea but it is I think a lesser known thing you can do with these tripwire hooks which I think are kinda underused still even though they've been out for a while um, last but not least this is something pretty cool so you come up here you can already see because my um, my cursor was on it but if you're just kinda of walking in you can't really notice it unless you look at it um, you can see obviously there's no way you can get across here like at first glance but if you walk up to it slowly um, you trip this tripwire and then these come out I'll show you guys how that's accomplished in a minute and then you can walk across like I just did there so this may look complex but don't let it psych you out um, if you can separate this um, separate that from this for a second and we'll just look at this. Uh, first of all, you can see that this is the piston that pushes our block out. What I've done is I've made the timing on the piston so short that it pushes the block. And then, uh, it's a sticky piston, by the way. It pushes the block out and then leaves it. And then when it gets reignited, it takes the block back. So, um, the redstone here. Uh, basically, what happens is as soon as you step on the tripwire hook the current comes through here um, I don't even I'm sure I needed this repeater but I don't know if I needed it anywhere specific but I just put it here for the heck of it because I knew the signal wasn't gonna be long enough so you can play with that um, 
But anyway, the signal comes in here, goes up here, goes up here, and what happens is as soon as it's triggered, um, this triggers this, uh, sorry, this redstone triggers this block which lifts up this piston, but um, this hits this block, sorry, this is, this is kind of complex to walk through when I'm not even that great with redstone myself. This powers this block for just a split second, just long enough for this repeater to take the power out of here, and then this piston powers the block up, so um, you can't even, uh, the current isn't going through for long enough, so it just powers that on really quickly and then powers it off. Let me show you guys really quickly. Um, if I can just get any old item, I can throw it on the trip wire hook. I believe that will work. Okay, we'll keep it there. And then as you can see, the pistons are in the up position. So the current, like I said, the current goes through, hits this block, which transfers it to this uh, repeater, carries it all the way through. And as soon as that signal goes through, it's ripped away when the piston goes up. So you guys can just copy this design if you want. Um, it's, uh, what's it called? It's called a pulse shortener. So you can also search for pulse shorteners and you can find some some simple tutorials. There's a, there's a lot of alternate ways to make them. So like I said, step on it, step on it, step on it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the way you do it. So I will include the link to this map in the description for you guys if you want to look at any of these a little bit closer. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope if you are building an adventure map that this came in handy for you. If you like this video, please do me a favor and give it a like. And if you want to stay in the loop for more videos in the future, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.